In this video, we're going to take a look at failover times and comparing them between general purpose and business critical. So we've got a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. So I just want to take a moment and explain what you're looking at. So on the left side of the screen, you're seeing things related to a general purpose database. And on the right side of the screen, you're seeing things related to a business critical database. And you'll see I've got a PowerShell notebook. Uh, for each in Azure Data Studio, and I also have the PowerShell command line open. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off a workload, and uh, the the workload is here. You know, Bob taught me how to use Ostress, and now I'm using it left and right and three times on a screen. But what we're doing is we're basically selecting account from a table. So uh, basically, we're just trying to see, can we connect to this database? So when we initiate a failover, we'll be able to log, OK, are we able to connect to a database? And so I'm just running this uh, once, but uh, on one thread, but uh, 50,000 times. So this will run for a while. And this is my general purpose. Now, over here, I'm doing the same exact thing except it's running on a business critical database. So you'll see here at the end, I'm just outputting it to a business critical folder. So left is general purpose, right is business critical. Now I've configured all these variables to be set up. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to invoke a failover uh, between for our general purpose database, and we're also going to invoke a failover for our business critical database. So this is kind of like we're trying to force a failover to see how long it takes uh, for us to recover. So anytime you don't see this 847 coming, that means we're disconnected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off each of these at approximately the same time, and we'll be able to monitor what happens. So let me just kick it off. Um, so what you can see is for now, I can still connect, but then there'll be a brief time. So you can see the business critical database. I was not able to connect uh, much sooner. And then hopefully in a matter of seconds, you can see that business critical. I'm already back and running just a matter of seconds, whereas general purpose is um, is still kind of doing that failover process. And again, this is because the uh, uh the always on availability group that you see in business critical allows you to fail over very quickly because it's just a matter of changing the pointer to one of your secondaries and then in the back end uh, spinning up another secondary. Uh, we can see the general purpose one, you know, still takes less than I, I think probably less than 20 seconds. But you all witness how quickly that business critical failover occurred. And these notebooks are available to you. We'll share references on how to get access to them. So definitely try it out and, and see what it's like for you. Now, one other thing I wanted to call out is, is just that we cannot invoke a failover again within a 30 minute period. So basically, I'm only doing this on the general purpose database. But what we're going to get is essentially a failure saying, hey, you are not able to fail over in this time. So what we see here is long running operation failed. And like I said, it's just because 30 minutes must pass between forced database failovers. So in this demo, you saw how fast failovers are in general purpose and business critical, but you also saw how much faster. And, you know, so with that comes a higher availability that you get with the business critical service tier. See you in the next video. Anna, that was awesome. I still think that's a pretty cool demo. That